this clip comes from a gentleman who runs another business just like the other guy. And he's given, this is five minutes long. I think we only need to go about two, two and a half. But tee it up. What, what is he talking about? So basically, a gentleman comes to him looking for a job. And he, he gauges his interest and his ability to hire this man. But he's baffled to find that in the span of four months, this gentleman went from illegal to possessing social security card, work ID, driver's license, place to live, and is now here looking for a job with him. Good morning. So yesterday, I ran into somebody that I haven't seen in a while. I haven't seen this guy for months. He's been here for about five months in the United States, six months, something like that. And he says, uh, hey, I'm, uh, I'm looking for work. And I said, well, I can't hire you, man. I'm not, I, I got to hire like legitimate people or whatever. And he was like, no, 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 I'm, I'm legitimate now. And he's broken English, kind of bits and pieces together. And he pulls his ID and stuff out of his pocket. And he says, I've got social security card now. And I got workers ID and permit for working everything all legit stamp city stamping specialized social security envelope and i said let's go inside real quick i need a translator and I, a couple of my guys they speak spanish and, the, and uh, i'm talking to them and uh, i says so where are we at with uh time frame wise uh, how long did it take you to get your social security card and your workers permit he said maybe three and a half four months uh, finish in my hand this dude got his freaking work permit and social security card came here illegally got documented got on the buses from Texas to Chicago got in process here in Chicago found an apartment building within the first week an efficiency apartment moved into the apartment building and then has been working cash jobs under the table for the last four months until recently uh, got his workers permit and now he's working for a roofing company, but they're laid off right now They're they're laid off right now and he's looking for work And I said I, 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 I Don't I don't necessarily need anybody right now, buddy. I'm sorry. I'll have to pass um, this, this shocks me the fact that this guy can't even speak English not a, almost not a lick of English very broken can barely understand got to have a translator around luckily I speak enough Spanish to know what he's saying um, it's about to, to and the point. I'm like this is absolutely crazy yeah so the tough part about this is as employees that's your new competition right because they'll do it for bare minimum because compared to what they were making and then on top of that, they don't have normal living expenses, right? They're getting support from the government. Right. And the rub there is why aren't we doing that to support current Americans who are here, who are born here? Correct. And as an employer, I mean, I, I echo what this guy says, which is like, hey, man, that's great that you got that, but I'm just not going to hire you. Yeah. And there's an important piece to that post if you pulled it back up, C-Rock. Um, so obviously the operational side of things, but this is this would mark these these mark significant changes to significant changes to our entire system, which is what where that was actually leading from. Which is like this is how ultimately they're going to change the pathways of elections. They're going to, to your point, change the demographics of who who can work and the incentives there and the fallout from that. And so. Um, not just from the, the, you know, the operational business owner side, which is the lane we come from. The other, the other side of that is this is part of a bigger change that is not by accident that entrepreneurs and American citizens, right. legal, legal and born here, natural, um, uh, have, to, have to deal with and navigate. And so it's very... Again, sign of the times where we're at politically, mm -hmm. culturally, 100%. economically... And yeah. those are the challenges that we are up against. Obviously, depending on the skill of labor, that that matters. Yeah. I would say the lower skilled labor stuff, roofing, yeah. excavation, concrete, paving, landscaping, those are the ones that are going to be challenged the most with th these types of workers. But um, But they'll move upstream for sure.
I mean, especially yeah, if, sure. I, if I can get somebody to be like a full-time framer at half the price, you know, framers today, like make, can make like 90 grand. Well, and we also know that a lot of these illegals didn't just come from Mexico, right? They came right. from other States where they invest in other skills and have other interests, other countries. Other, what did yeah. I say? States, other States. Yeah. <laughs> other countries. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a lot of cats that came in from China. So just one more dynamic right. that we're battling as entrepreneurs in this ever changing landscape of like, how do you one as an American citizen with core values, tackle that right. while simultaneously trying to manage your labor cost, manage everything, getting more expensive, trying to grow your business through this time. How do you, how do you navigate all that stuff? God, that's the, that's, that's, that's the challenge, right? Like, but that's why I think doing what we're discussing here, we're trying to facilitate with you guys giving us your time and in your circles is we have to talk about it. We have right. to strategize. We have to figure out what we need to do, what partnerships we need to make, what, you know, what new businesses and new suppliers need to be or whatever it might be. You know, it's like the, the one thing I know after working with small business, small to medium sized business owners for the last 15, 16 years, right. They make up 70% of the economy, the majority of the jobs, but they're actually typically pretty ill-informed about like what's going on socially, politically, economically. And they're really bad at kind of seeing around the corner and predicting. And that's the point of the show is this stuff is happening in real time and it's coming at us quick and there's so much content to consume. And we're just trying to digest it for you guys and give you some food for thought so that you can be prepared and you're not caught flat footed. Right. 